Hi guys, on the review today I have Canon EOS 80D, the semi-professional DSLR from Canon. Most important new features in this camera are the new sensor, it has 24 megapixels and significantly better image quality and dynamic range, a completely new autofocus system with 45 autofocus points and uh, better video recording. Now it has 60 frames per second, before the previous model 70D had only 30 frames per second. On the camera right now I have a 24mm pancake lens. This is an excellent choice for a very small and walk-around lens. Uh, this lens gives you viewing angle of around 40mm when uh, transferred to full frame. But important thing is uh, never try to mount this lens on the full frame camera. It has uh, this back side which prevents it from being physically mounted. You could even damage your mirror that way. But on a crop sensor camera right now on 80D this is probably the best walk-around lens I have ever tried. It is really small, it is so light, I can't even feel it on the body. It weighs only one, around 100 grams. Uh, this camera can be bought in several configurations. Uh, for example, this lens which I have on it now, 17 to 40, is not part of the kit. You can buy it uh, as body only with 18 to 55 uh, lens or with 18 to 135 millimeter lens. Both of these lenses are stabilized, so your choice. Do you want the cheaper one or the one with more optical zoom? Optical viewfinder is really good on ATD. Of course, it is not as big as on full frame camera, but it can't be. Uh, what I can say, it's really easy to use it. You have all the impo important information, it's bright. And I really like having the option to engage uh, these vertical and horizontal lines which help me to make images straight. Real life use this articulated LCD is a real joy to use. In normal conditions, if I didn't have articulated LCD, I would have to lie down on the grass to take an image like this. In this occasion, I don't have to, I just put the camera to the ground, rotate the LCD and have a perfect framing. Image quality is really on a high level. You can see really Canon has made efforts to make their latest generation sensor even better. Uh, images are really good, they have good colors, realistic and they have a really good dynamic range. You can really lift shadows quite more than you were able to do on 7D and older 70D. I have tried taking images in low light. As you can see, I'm currently on ISO 6400 the entire time. And all the images, first of all, they are completely focused. As you can see, the new autofocus system, which works up to minus three EV, works without a problem in these conditions. And if I see correctly, all the images retain fine details. You can see this in these trees, in the leaves. High ISO is usable up to 6400 in my opinion, maybe you would use it only to 3200, that is something personal, but I think 6400 is quite usable on this camera. Noise is visible, but uh, image retains sharpness and looks really good. Video quality from ATD is excellent, it is really sharp and uh, you can clearly see good Canon colors. Maybe it doesn't have 4K resolution, but Full HD at 60 frames per second looks really good. I would rather have good Full HD than average 4K. We are now testing a video recording on high ISO values in low light. I will be using ISO 6400 lowest shutter speed available there is enough light even to close the aperture to 6.7 and as far as i can see this looks really good really detailed and uh, without excessive noise 
Of course, I will need to check this recording on PC later, but as far as I can see, this camera can be used in low light recording. Dual pixel autofocus can find faces without a problem. I can see it focusing now on my camera man's faces. He's trying to escape, but there is no escape from new ATD dual pixel autofocus. Yeah, you can run as much as you want, but you cannot hide. The camera can fire up to 7 shots per second uh, and it sounds like this. And as you can see buffer is pretty big so this camera will be very good for recording sports. Also this camera has completely new autofocus system, 45 points, all of them are, are cross type and the central one is sensitive up to minus 3 EV which means you will be able to focus in extremely low light. I might say this is the best autofocus of any camera on the market. Canon EOS ATD records video at full HD resolution and 60 frames per second. Some of you might ask why doesn't it have 4K in 2016. Uh, you have to keep in mind Canon is a very conservative company and they will put the feature only when they are completely sure it will work flawlessly. Full HD recording on this camera is excellent and it's also very good when you want to use autofocus during video. This camera is very easy to use. All of the most important features are placed on direct buttons on the camera and everything else is in the main menu. Main menu is very easy to understand, it has color-coded tabs and the very good thing is uh, when you use touch control you can quickly jump from one end of the menu to the other uh, since there is a lot of features uh, using uh, buttons would take a long time to find something that you want. Build quality of this camera is excellent. It is weather sealed, so you can use it without worrying in uh, rain, let's say, or in dusty environments. Of course, this camera is not completely waterproof, you cannot go swimming with it, please don't do that. Ergonomics is excellent and it is basically the same as on any other Canon camera. It has big grip, it is completely covered with rubber and sits very well in hands. Uh, if you use bigger or heavier lenses, this camera will be easy to use. Button placement is practically the same as on previous models and on all other Canon cameras. This is an excellent thing, so if you upgrade from previous model or have at the same time several cameras which you use at the same time, uh, it will be very easy for you to get accustomed to this camera, all the controls are on the same places. On the back you can see a 3-inch LCD monitor, it is completely articulated, which is great for recording video and also this monitor has touch control which works very good. This camera uses LPE6 battery uh, which is used in many other uh, Canon cameras like 70D, 6D, 5D Mark II, 5D Mark III, Mark IV and many others. This is a very good thing because if you already have these batteries from your previous cameras you will be able to keep using them also in ATD. This battery is strong enough to give you around 1000 shots on a single charge if you use optical viewfinder. If you take pictures regularly using uh, LCD, using live view, uh, this number will be significantly lower since LCD uses a lot of power. On the left side you can see numerous connectors. This camera has HDMI output, a USB connector, a microphone input for external microphone and also headphone socket for monitoring headphones. This is very important when you record the video. Direct competitor to this camera would be Nikon D7200. In some things Canon is better, in some things Nikon is better. For example, Nikon has still a better sensor. Uh, Nikon uses Sony sensors, which have higher dynamic range than Canon. But, uh, for example, Canon has better autofocus system and uh, slightly faster continuous burst, 7 frames per second versus 6 on the Nikon. Also, if you regularly record the video, uh, Canon is much better choice, it is much easier to use in live view shooting and also has better autofocus, dual pixel autofocus system for video. Altogether, I think Canon has made a very good camera. It's easy to use, it is full packed with features, it has excellent uh, lens ecosystems, so it is very easy to find a lens that will suit your needs. 
more than everything, this cannon is good for all situations. Uh, you can use it for landscape, uh, thanks to new sensor, it has very good uh, image quality and dynamic range. It is good for sports, thanks to uh, new autofocus systems. It is also great for video recording. This camera is jack of all trades. That's pretty much everything for this review. Thanks for watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel.